today we are going to learn on how to use ms pin okay before going into details like how we are what we are going to cover and other things let's see what we are going to cover today so today we are going to cover how to call an ms pin from an ps command prompt or this is the command prompt or you can call ms pin from the command prompt and also we are going to learn how to build a project file so in that we are going to cover like what are the configurations and what are the uh, platform and other things and also we are also going to learn about uh, building a solution from ms build and as well as we are going to learn ms build and what is ms build file and i am not going to go in depth with uh, what is ms build file and other things here at this point but i am going to show you like how we are going to call an ms build file and then we are going to use uh, parameters uh, like configuration platform and other things uh, how we are going to call uh, pass those parameters to our ms build .exe. okay now before going into how to uh, call ms build and how to call ms build from command prompt and as well as visual studio command prompt let me first explain you like where is this ms build.exe located so basically ms build.exe is located at um, multiple places basically because microsoft visual studio uh, .NET framework always includes ms build from .NET 2.0 from 2, 2.0 whenever you install .NET framework then you are going to get something called as an ms build.exe as part of this .NET framework so if you have multiple frameworks side by side then you are going to get multiple ms build.exe so let's concentrate today on ms build 4.0 .NET framework 4.0 uh, which uh, which has ms build.exe and as well as we are going to uh, learn about uh, and as well as you know like visual studio also includes ms build.exe as part of its installation so whenever you install visual studio then you are also going to get something called as an ms build.exe with that installation and i'm going to show you like where they are located and other things okay um, first thing first we are going to go and see like where in visual studio we actually have these uh, ms build.exe and and here we have this is microsoft visual studio 2017 enterprise edition that i am using but whichever may be the version that you are using the structure should be always same and here we have something called as an uh, ms build within ms build you can see like ms build.exe is located here ms build.exe is located here so it is not uh, necessary for you to know the location of ms build if you are going to call it from visual studio prompt but if you are using it from uh, command prompt if you want to use it from command prompt then it is something worth noted because i'm going to show you like what is what are the issues that we are going to have if you want to call ms build from command prompt right away without without uh, having ms build.exe set up in your mission that i'm going to uh, talk about it later so here is where the uh, ms build.exe is located in visual studio 2017 and uh, as well as i have told you like it also ships with microsoft.net framework then if you go and check with uh, .NET framework location so here we have something called the .NET Framework 4.0. So here we have something called as an MS Build.exe. So even it, it also uh, MS Build.exe is also part of .NET Framework. So it also comes with .NET Framework. And uh, we can call this from multiple uh, things like we can call it from Command Prompt or you can directly call it from Visual Studio Command Prompt. So as you know like visual studio command prompt is a uh, tool which is used to uh, call some of the things like if you want to restore some of the nugget packages if you want to uh, call ms build in order to build your solution or something like that so it is used for multiple uh, purposes but here we are going to concentrate on ms build so if i go here and if i try for ms command prompt and if I run it as an administrator, then it is going to uh, come up with this uh, command prompt. 
yeah now it is loaded now if you type ms bill then it directly says like please specify the solution that you want to build or the project file that you want to build so uh, and as well as uh, if you type ms bill you are going to learn some more things like what is the microsoft uh, build engine that you are using here for dotnet framework so it is 15.9 so these are the major versions so 15.9 is the build engine that we are going to work uh, that is going to be used by ms bill okay and the next thing is like we are going to call it from the command prompt as i told you like earlier so if you directly call something from command prompt then you are going to face some issues like ms build is not recognized as internal or an external command that is because the ms build.exe path has been not specified here so basically i have uh, already set up in my machine if i say ms build it is going always going to give me that what is the building a motion and what's the dot frame question which is it is targeted with and all other things so so as you see like the rotted building engine version uh, differs from what is shipped with dotnet framework and what is shipped with visual studio 2017 obviously because dotnet framework 4.0 was released uh, earlier than uh, visual studio 2017 which came later okay um, <clears throat> and uh, but if you if you find any issues like unable to find the uh, uh, it is not an uh, internal or an external command something like that then what you need to do is you need to add the environment variable to path so i'm going to show you like how we are going to add it so if you go to this case and if you go to properties and there's something called as an advanced system settings if you click on that then it is going to give you the system properties and under which you can you have something called as an environment variables okay the environment variables has so many things and out of which we are only concerned with the path variable okay there we are going to select the path variable and click on edit and make sure like you never uh, uh, change something that is above this so always you create a new one if it is already not available so here here is the one that i have added for this so now it knows like microsoft uh, msbuild.exe is available in so and so location so this is the reason why it is uh, aware of like msbuild.exe is a programmatic command okay so if, if you don't have this then you can add it and as well as you can also add your visual studio msbuild.exe path here as well so that the command prompt knows like uh, msbuild.exe is a command so for now we are going to just add this one and if you click on ok then you are good to go then you will be able to uh, see msbuild and call msbuild from command prompt ok so you know like now you know like where the msbuild.exe is located and uh, how we can call msbuild.exe now we are going to uh, go in depth with like how to build a project or a solution or if ms build file so before going there i'm just going to switch to the command prompt and as well as i'm going to open a visual studio here in visual studio we have we are going to create a new project. With the type Windows Home Act one. Now once you have created this project file, then if you click on the project file, and click on open file or, or folder explorer in file explorer then you are going to get something called as a location of the project where you have created so what all you need to do is you need to have the complete path of the cs project file that you are going to call so now we have created our project now we need to build this so in order to build that what we can do is we can either use 
Visual Studio Comment uh, from Comment Prompt, or you can use Visual Studio Comment Prompt. So out of those, I'm gonna use I don't know where I am, but I'm gonna call MS Build and give the entire path of that solution. Path of the project file. So MS build and this is the pathway that I have created my project file and if I build it, it's done. So this is as simple as that. But if you see like the default location where the output has been copied is set to bin debug. Okay. So which means like we are calling it in a debug mode. So we are going to call or uh, we are calling it in a default mode because we haven't passed anything. It is going to consider the default mode of uh, platform. So the configuration is going uh, the configuration is going to be deeper configuration and the platform is going to be any platform. So here we have. So these are the two things that are going to specify like what is the uh, mode and as well as what is the platform. So here in this configuration, we can either set release mode and as well as we can set the configuration. So in order to have use the configuration manager, we can, you need to add a new configuration. So which can be done using this one. Let, let's call it as MS sample configuration and we need to copy the settings from either debug mode or release mode. So I'm going to select the release mode. Okay, now we have our own configuration. That is MS sample or you can select release mode or you can select debug mode or you can select MS sample mode. That is the custom configuration that we have created, and all the settings are copied from either debug mode or release mode. So here we are copying it from release mode. <coughs> okay. So now we know like, what are the platforms and what are the configurations, and as well as I wanted to change this one as well. I wanted to change the platform to x86 or x64. So the default is x64 here, and now I'm going to change it to copy the settings from any CPU and now I'm going to click on OK and click on close now we have something called as an any CPU and as well as x86 I'm going to explain you clearly like why we need this custom uh, configurations why we need these <coughs> why we need to add these custom configurations and what is the use of them okay for now, we are going to just uh, stick with only two things that is the debug mode and the release mode. So, once you have built this, so you can always watch the output here in bin. And as you see, like there were there are four folders, but we actually built it only in debug mode, that was the default mode. So, where you can find this formsapp.exe. But if you go to MS sample, it is going to be empty and uh, release mode, it is going to be empty and x86 mode, it is going to be, again, x86 is a platform. So again, the configuration is debug mode. We haven't built with x86 and MS sample for x86, but we haven't built that uh, as of now, which we are going to do now. Okay, so once you have completed this, so now the output is available in the location where the configuration is the uh, root folder under which you have the output of your build. Okay, so now let's just go here and build the same thing and deep again. Uh, so it says like one has got succeeded, zero failed, and zero updated, and zero skipped. So nothing has been updated. 
why why it was not updated it was able to build it but it was not able to update it because there were no changes in the project or the uh, <coughs> code of the solution where you are going to build it so if you have any changes then it is going to build it but obviously for some reasons you wanted to rebuild the entire solution even though nothing has been changed you want to build it again so what you can do is you can go to build and you can build the solution or you can rebuild the solution so if you rebuild the solution it will build the project even if there are no changes at all even though there are no changes you are going to rebuild it and the same thing can be done from command prompt so you can call the <coughs> target as build and rebuild it so the build is going to build only if there are some changes and the rebuild is going to do even if there are no changes at all <coughs> and we have one more thing called the clean solution so where the target is clean and which specifies like first remove all the output directories and output files from the <coughs> output directory and then rebuild those uh, projects so once it doesn't find any output directory it is going to build the solution but whereas in re, uh, normal build solution it is not going to do that if the output directory is available and if the output doesn't uh, hasn't changed at all then it is not going to build it it is just going to say like succeeded okay <clears throat> now we have uh, called it from visual studio command prompt now we are going to call it from <coughs> uh, actual windows command prompt so here I'm going to say ms build space in the part of the folder the file and we are going to specify specific so it has done it has uh, built a solution and uh, while building it is doing so many things and it is as well as logging all those things so as you can see like it is giving the output from msbuild.exe so this is called as a logging so you can either have logging in we are going to go in depth like what what is logging and how we can log uh, our output of msbuild and other things but basically what whenever you call msbuild.exe without any options then it is going to log it is a minimal log it is not an verbose log so if you want the details step by step uh, of the log then you need to specify like logging is equal to verbos which we are going to cover in uh, in the next thing but before going there i wanted to show you something like uh, <clears throat> uh, what is the tool version and uh, how it has uh, uh, decoded it and other things so the tool version and everything is even though we are calling it from 4.7 it is all it is uh, now taking the target version as 4.0 tool versions is selected as 4.0 because our project is targeted to 4.0 so if you go to a project and if you unload this project and if you edit this project Then we have something called as a target framework, and we also have something called as an output type, and also we are having something called the assembly name, and as well as we have property groups. So property groups are going to specify like uh, the different things. Like if I call it by dollar of configuration is equal to debug, and platform is equal to any CPU, debug and any CPU, then it is going to take all these parameters by default so the output path is going to be bin slash debug if it if you want to change this you can change it so the output will uh, automatically uh, copy to the specified location what you have specified in the output path okay we are not going to change anything now as of now so first let's see like how we can change the configuration like platform and <coughs> any cpu so here we have something called the configuration is equal to release and platform is equal to create. So all the properties should be called with slash p slash p 
here the property group is property this is the property configuration is equal to release and platform is equal to x65 so we are specifying this is the property and this is the property name and its value here so what we are specifying here is build this in release mode and x64 configuration so if you go and hit on this one It is saying that the output property is not set for the project forms the adapter CS project. But we have already seen like it was already set up. So why it is showing like it was not set up? So let's again go to our msp.cs project. And as you can see, like here debug and any CPU has got the output path. Debug release and any CPU has got the output path. And ms sample slash any CPU hasn't got uh, has got the output path. And release x86 has got the output part and that's it we don't have something called as release and x64 if you want to include that as well that then what we can do is just copy this configuration configuration and then add it and change x86 to x64 once you are done with this, then that property has been property group is has been added, and the combination of release and x64 will be added, and this is going to be the path. And as well as obviously we need to change the path as well. And plot platform target also needs to be changed to x64. Yeah, that's it. We are done. So now we are going to save this one, and we are going to call the same thing. Now you are able to build this. So from this, what what you should be able to understand is like all the configurations and all the properties needs to be specified in your CS project file. So depending on that, you can call all those properties. So either configuration is equal to x86 or MS sample x64, whatever it may be. So that configuration and the different things that are required by MSP in order to build your solution needs to be specified there. And there are so many other things that you can customize which we are going to uh, go in depth in future but for now let's concentrate on these uh, uh, simple things so here we are specifying like x64 and release mode which was not there earlier now we have specified it now if you go to the output path if you go to the output path and go to bin and go to x64 and release mode there you have your and let's see if those debug and other things also have yeah, of course it has why 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 it has those because we haven't cleaned the cleans the project file and if you don't want these to be there for some reason let's say that you have some uh, custom task where <clears throat> you want to build the solution and once the build is completed and you need to copy all the exe files all the exe files from different location and copy it to some location but if you have multiple configurations there but you are intending it to build on x64 version uh, x64 platform that is 64 version of the windows then you are going to get x86 and x64 there because earlier you built it with x86 now you are building it with x64 so it retains the output of the two configurations and that is not good because we only wanted uh, to get the output for uh, x64 that is windows 64 bit version and we don't want it for x86 so obviously when you are copying you are going to face some issues maybe sometimes you copy them uh, correctly and sometimes it might consider x86 uh, file because you are going to copy it in a regex format where you are going to specify x uh, star dot exe robocopy star dot exe which specify like all the exe files will be copied to that particular folder that you have given it as a destination but if you have multiple exe files then it is going to uh, replace one uh, one above the other so you don't know like which version of exe you are going to get so for that obvious reason the best thing always to do is call a target called as a clean 
so i'm going to uh, tell you clearly about like what are targets when we go into that for now we are just going to concentrate on the properties so here the properties are properties can be specified within something called as a property group and there you can specify different properties and the available properties can be uh, found uh, within your uh, within your project file and as well as if you want to if you want to add new properties then you can uh, add them as necessary so for now we are going to uh, stop here and uh, uh, before going uh, out of this session let's again <coughs> uh, revise like what we learned on this session so we learned like where the ms build is located and we know like how to call the ms build.exe and we know like how to call ms build.exe with uh, project file and also we know how to uh, create configurations like platform and uh, configuration and other things and as well as we also know like how we can call those platforms and configurations from our msbuild.exe so the next session will be on how to call msbuild.exe from uh, to build solution files and after that we are going to go into msbuild.exe with msbuild project files and also we are going to cover something a little bit not entirely into target files but we are going to specify like what are the what is what is meant by targets and how we are going to use those targets okay we'll be back after some time